Welcome back. So today, one of those really good days. Well, a little bit windy, so I hope that doesn't put a spoiler on today's episode. Wildcat. You may have seen it around. Today, we're gonna show you. Man, that wind's picking up. <laughs> we're gonna show you some islands around Mackay. And the best way to do it is on a big boat. Big boat. Let's go. Oh, what are you doing in here? Righto, so, <laughs> look at this! Cockermouth Island. I think it's my first time here. I've, I've driven past a couple times with a mate's boat and look at it. Just waves just in the background there. Absolutely stunning beach. Beautiful day. I definitely think I'll be swimming. You can camp here. FYI, can camp here. Look at this. It's a heel, a chick shoe, but coral started growing in it. Fantastic. Look at this. Beautiful coral. Anyway, so this is our first stop. We're gonna be chilling on the beach for a little bit and uh, just going to enjoy the serenity, but I definitely should have bought my drone. We've got some better shots. I did get a few shots with the drone, you should have seen that. But um, I'm just going to have a little bit of a walk and explore on the island. Do have water with me, but um, yeah. Beautiful island. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, the boy, I know the boys go spearfishing around here. Some of these corals are actually really pretty. Anyway, it gets a bit windy out that way. So you can kind of actually see, which is pretty special, heaps of holes or uh, heaps of like dugout bits there. They're from turtles. So this must be a highly popular place for turtles to lay their eggs. But, um, so, I'll give you a bit of a rundown. I actually went on this last year and it was really, really rough weather. So I kind of got invited again by Wildcat. So shout out to Wildcat for letting me come on the trip. So I came on this time because the weather was way better this time. Still a little bit choppy. A few people got seasick on the way out, but blue sky wind everything's just a1 today so cannot complain about that and it's just one of those things where holy jesus <laughs> it's amazing it really is so we're going to be chilling on the beach for a little bit and then from there we're going to go around the side of the island around this way <laughs> and i'm um, going to do some snorkeling later Pretty stoked because last time I did this, like I said, the weather wasn't great, but I actually forgot the back door that goes to my uh, goes to my GoPro, and um, yeah, that kind of stopped me from getting some snorkeling shots. So today, I'm getting the snorkeling shots. It is happening. Look at these shells; they're so pretty. Anyway, let's have some fun.
managed to get the captain away while everyone else is on the beach there. So I just wanted to ask him a few questions and give you guys a bit of information about what Wildcat actually offers. So, Steve, tell us about yourself, mate. G'day, I'm Steve. I'm still one of the skippers that runs Wildcat. I was lucky enough to be here when it first started operating the Mackay 10 months ago. So I've been on it full time since then. Look, I think it's a tremendous asset for Mackay. We've been crying out for this for 20 years to have a, a fast day boat that can get out to the islands and get to any islands. One of the beauty about this vessel is its permits allow it to just be able to access any bay or any beach. So we're not constrained to where we go. So each day we look at the weather and the tides and our customers and our guests. And we go from there, we decide where we're going to go and what we're going to do. We generally will always get you in for a snorkel and we'll always get you on the shore for a beach walk, paddle boarding, jumping off the roof of the boat. And we try and do that and get you back home all in one day. Tell you what, the ride out was a little bit lumpy, but I have been in some boats and I've been in some rough weather. This thing handles it pretty well, doesn't it? They looked at, they did their research when they bought built this boat for Mackay. So it's custom built. It was built here in Queensland, so that's a bonus for Queensland um, commerce. So it was built with the idea out of the Mackay, we get shallow water and big tides, so it gets choppy. What you need is a vessel that's fast enough and powerful enough to cut through those waves big enough that it can dodge around them, and, but small enough that it doesn't just become a monster of a boat that you're gonna try and put lots and lots of people on. So 40 people on this vessel, we cruise at 24 knots. I do it whether I've got 0.5 of a meter of sea or three meters of sea. This boat just eats it, scoots around. 17 meter alloy cat, four 300 horsepower outboards on the back powering it. And because we've got the outboards, so, so much power coming from them, we use hardly any fuel. The fuel economy out of this vessel is just great, which means our footprint is small. Yeah, like, again, I can confirm, we had some pretty big, <laughs> a few big waves there, but, you know, if you're a little bit seasick, you, you might not enjoy it, but I've been on this water when it's been glassed out, and this boat would just skip over all of that, definitely. So, mate, well, the other question I want to ask you is, I guess, what do we actually do on this boat? Like, um, but what are some of the other islands you'd like to visit? So, we plan our days depending on the tides and the weather and also our guests. Like Refuge Bay and Scorfell is a little gem for me. Great, we can snorkel. There's a couple of great big snorkel sites, all tidal access to the beach, beautiful big beaches to walk on. Cockermouth, when the wind and tides are perfect for us to get the Cockermouth, it's just unbelievable. There's a great big sand spit there. The coral is just stunning and walk along the beach. Turtle nesting season, all of our turtle tracks and turtle nests, so interesting to see. And then when we get north east, we've got the back beaches of Brampton. I mean, if anyone's ever been in the Dinghy Bay West or the Western Bay there, they're pretty, pretty spots. So we also hang around Keswick St. Bees, there's a couple of spots on there. As I said, one of the beauty things about this boat is we're small enough, we can get into nearly every bay, and the way the permits work, it also allows us to access those bays, because um, we've got to do the right thing by all the rules and regulations. So guys, I just want to, I, I come out on this boat mainly to witness it for myself and definitely promote this Wildcat tour. And I'm going to leave a link in the description and book yourself a tour because this is definitely something that every person in Mackay needs to go do. Not only just to support our local tourism, tourism industry, but just to get out there. Like I went snorkeling and it's just on, just on there and it's no effort at all. So even if, like beginner swimmers and stuff like that, you know, you get a little noodle around you. I went with the noodle just to be safe and you just sit there and float along the water and see all this awesome coral. And I definitely think it's something that everyone needs to do in Mackay. So make sure you check out the website, Wildcat website. I'll definitely leave a link in the description below, guys. And uh, you need to check it out for yourself, eh? I reckon. Come on out and see us. We've done the right thing. We've put a boat to, the, to Mackay. Let's support the boat. Come and have a look what we've got there to offer out here on our islands. Definitely. Cheers, mate. Thanks Cheers. for the chat. Thank you. Righto guys, that was the end of the episode of Wildcat. What a great day. If you want to book yourself a trip, I've got all the details below in the description. Guys, it is such a great thing to do and it's, for it to be here in Mackay, we're lucky. We're lucky. But also, how else can you support this local tourism industry here in Mackay? Just by following my channel, just by watching my YouTube because this gets their business out there as well. We need to share these videos so everyone in the world can see how good Mackay is. Righto guys, peace. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. 
tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that 